Look at the beauty of these hydrous crystals. You see copper sulfate or blue vitriol, ferrous sulfate or green vitriol, decahydrate or washing soda. These beautiful colors and shapes is because of the water of crystallization. Water of crystallization is the amount of water necessary to maintain the crystalline properties of certain metallic compounds. This is responsible for the geometric shape and the color of crystals. This water can be expelled by heating. Do you wonder what will happen if we remove the water of crystallization by heating? We shall try it out with some crystals of copper sulfate. Take some copper sulfate crystals, a spirit lamp, test tube, beaker filled with water, petri dish. Take some crystals of copper sulfate in a test tube. Now put the test tube on the flame and wait till we expel the water from the crystal. Be patient. Observe water vapors coming out of the hot copper sulfate crystals. Also notice the beautiful blue crystals turning white. Let the anhydrous white powder of copper sulfate cool. Take a pinch of it and feel. It feels dry and powdery. Now add a few drops of water to this anhydrous salt. The salt regains its color and crystalline form. It is blue once again. A substance containing water of crystallization is called a hydrous substance or a hydrate. This water can be expelled by heating and then the salt is said to have become anhydrous. Remember certain substances like sodium chloride or common salt do not require the help of water to form their crystalline shape. Can you find out more such crystals which do not need water? And you should know how.